Justice ain't gonna dispense itself. Five YouTube tips and tricks that you can use to successfully start a YouTube gaming channel. You dig? Brian G. Johnson! Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back, high five. If you wanna not only upload your videos to YouTube, but amplify Ooh. them, well make sure to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss anything. Step number one is to first create an overall strategy, a channel strategy based on identifying keyword phrases that are not overly competitive identifying keyword phrases that don't have hundreds of thousands of competing videos, millions of competing videos. You know what? So many gamers do this. They upload Let's Play footage after Let's Play footage. Overwatch, Let's Play, millions of video views. What? But what if you took the time to really identify what people that are playing Overwatch are interested in? Well, first off, we have to think to ourselves, you know, Overwatch is based on these characters. There's like 22 characters and each character has their own ability. When I'm interested in playing Soldier 76, I want to learn how to dominate with Soldier 76. So what am I going to search for? Soldier 76 guide. That's one keyword phrase that is far less competitive than Let's Play Overwatch. Now, here's the good news. There are 20 some characters. And while I use the word guide, also there are people searching for variations of that keyword phrase, like tutorial. When you start taking the number of characters in Overwatch with the different keyword possibilities, you get about a kajillion Now here's another type of content that you can create and that you can leverage. You see, games change and update, right? There's always a game update. Overwatch just released Capture the Flag, Capture the Rooster. Again, did you see what I did there? That's two keyword phrases based on game updates. If you create videos based on game updates, guess what happens? You're publishing a video that has huge demand. Demand is like this. There's a lot of people interested and there is not as many videos because it just happened. And if you're there first, well, check this out. You're looking at a search query or YouTube end screen editor and I've got two videos in the top 10 and I was able to do that with a channel that had like 3,000 subscribers. How? By being there first. It doesn't mean you should always chase the trends. I usually do not. But when it makes sense, when I'm excited, I will, and it's a huge opportunity. So that is another type of content. So you can go deep with tutorials, you can cover recent updates, and all of these are strategies that will allow you to craft videos based on topics that are not as competitive. You know, Quake Champions is coming out. It's a shooter game. It's got some similarities and ties to Overwatch, but more than, than the similarities to Overwatch, it's Quake. Quake really invented the arena shooter. Quake has been around for 20 years. Quake has history. Based on that history, you could make videos talking about uh, John Carmack, talking about id Studios, talking about the other games that define the era like Doom. Now, here's what I wanted to mention about that exciting news. Quake Champions is based on 20 characters that each have a unique ability, just like Overwatch. Do you think it's possible that in the future, people will be searching for guides and tutorials on how to play certain Quake players in the Quake Champions game? Do you think there will be some YouTube channels that create playlists based on this overall strategy? I bet you there will be, and I bet you some of those become very successful. Okay, the second tip is to identify super popular and potentially big videos for your channel. So on one hand, we wanna target less competitive 
keyword phrases to ensure we drive some views, but we also want to target uh, keyword phrases that are competitive. And as you do this over time, you're going to have a few winners. Maybe you publish 10 videos targeting very competitive keyword phrases. It's a high risk, high reward kind of thing. And once you hit it big with a few, you can have a few videos driving hundreds of views a day and that is how you succeed. So how do you identify what keywords are really popular? Go to the channels that are already established in the niche and then sort videos, not based on upload date, but based on popularity. Take a look at the titles and the keyword phrases they're targeting, create a list and just have that available. And then what I like to do is I create videos based on what I'm passionate about at the time. So I've got videos that are less competitive, I've got videos that are more competitive, and when I'm passionate about one subject, I move forward and I create content based on that very thing. And this is how to really balance out uh, risk versus reward. Step number three, and this goes for any niche at all on YouTube, is to solve problems. That's what those guides are doing in Overwatch. People wanna learn to play Soldier 76 better. This is super helpful for two reasons. Number one, you're publishing videos that can be found by a new audience, by people that are not yet subscribed. Number two, those that have found your channel are gonna be interested in these things because some of those folks are gonna be struggling. Step number four is to really dive deeper and understand that success always begins with research, I've got a video that talks about that right there. And step number five is to leverage my YouTube starter kit. Here's what's up. I've got a 12 step upload checklist that is baked into an ebook. So in other words, I walk you through the steps I take every time I upload. Even better, you can implement that upload checklist in free software. So check that out, click the YouTube card now, access that information and you will be hooked up. And there you have it. That's how to succeed on YouTube. If you want more of these kind of videos, well hit the B to the G icon below. You'll subscribe and in the process, I'll keep you up to date and you'll feed one of my poodles. I got two, you dig? Poof. Pixie dust.